Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Topaz Labs released an update to Photo AI. They're going from version 1.0.7 to version 1.1. They're claiming that this is the largest update to Photo AI since it was released. Now, more specifically, a day or two ago, I received this email from them. And in the email, you can see it says right here, Topaz Photo AI version 1.1 is our biggest update since launch. You'll get even better raw noise reduction, more accurate noise detection, a smoother preview experience, better masking control, and lots of performance improvements. If I drill down a little bit more, you can see it says right here, improved raw noise reduction. The new strong raw noise reduction model provides even more natural and cleaner results, especially with raw images suffering from heavy noise. Now, I should clarify there because to me it seems to be implying that they have a new noise reduction model called Strong. While they've always had a strong raw noise reduction model, what they've actually done, supposedly, is improve that raw strong raw noise reduction model in version 1.1. Also, they have more accurate autopilot noise detection. Autopilot has gotten even more accurate with its ability to detect the amount of noise affecting your photos. This improved accuracy allows Autopilot to make even better decisions about which adjustments will maximize your photo's quality. And finally, they've made masking and AI brush enhancements. Refining subject mask is now more accurate, allowing you to fine tune exactly where sharpening will be applied. AI brush is also much faster to use, especially when masking large images or while zoomed out. Now in today's video, we're going to test these first two claims. This first claim about this new raw noise reduction, specifically the strong raw noise reduction model, is it really better than what was in version 1.0.7? And is autopilot more accurate now? Well, we're gonna be testing that. In a future video, we'll check out this masking and see how well that works. Now, how are we going to do this test? Well, before I updated my photo AI to version 1.1, I ran three different images through version 1.0.7. I used auto detection, and then I let it do its thing, let it just set its controls to what it thought it should be. But for all three images, I had to manually change the noise reduction model to strong. So that's what I did on three different images. First, I have this image. This is an image that I often use with these noise reduction videos I do is because it has a lot of noise and it's a decent image. It has a lot of noise and you can see this is the raw file. I ran it through version 1.0.7 of Photo AI and I got this. Then I took this image. Now, this is all of these images are unedited raw files, all right? So this isn't edited at all. And if I zoom in, you can see there's a considerable amount of noise. I ran it through version 1.0.7 of Photo AI, let it do its auto detection, and then switched the AI model from standard or normal to strong, and it came up with this. Now, this image in the previous image, the auto detection autopilot uh, deemed it didn't need any sharpening. So I didn't do any sharpening because I let autopilot do its thing. This next image though, it thought it was blurry and it is, all right? So this image two of the ocelot, a lot of noise. I ran it through version 1.0.7, let autopilot do its thing. Autopilot decided it needed to be sharpened. Also it used the standard or whatever the noise reduction AI model is that isn't strong. I manually switched it to strong and ended up with this. So. I have these same three raw files on my desktop. What we're going to do is we're going to send them one by one into version 1.1 of Photo AI. We'll start with, um, let's start with, let's start with this one. All right, so I think I have it down here. Yeah, there's um, Topaz Photo AI right there. I'll open that up in Photo AI. And now Autopilot is doing its thing. You can see in the lower left-hand uh, corner, there's a progress bar. So it's scanning the image. It's determining what type of noise reduction it needs, and it's determining whether or not the image needs to be sharpened. Now it's done. Uh, you can see it got rid of the noise pretty well. It didn't need to be sharpened though. 
Now I'm going to roll open the raw noise area here and by default it used normal. So I'm going to manually, just like I did with the uh, uh, previous version, I'm going to switch it to strong. And again, in the lower left hand corner, you see the progress bar. Let it do its thing. Okay, there it is. That's all I did with those previous images. So I'm trying to get an equal comparison of, you know, apples to apples, oranges to oranges comparison. So that's all I'm going to do with all three images. So we're going to save this image. Now I put the suffix here 1.1.0. So we know that this is the image from the newest version of Photo AI. And I'm going to save it to a specific folder I have on my computer that I have Lightroom set up to monitor. When images go into that folder, Lightroom automatically in the background will import those images. So I don't have to do anything. And then we could easily go back to Lightroom and compare everything. So I'm just going to save it. Oh, by the way, preserve image or input format. This was a Nikon RAW file, .nef file. It can't save a .nef file, but it could save a .dng file. So that's what it says here. Your RAW files will be converted to 16-bit DNG. DNG, of course, is a raw format. So we're saving raw, we're editing raw, we're staying in the raw format. So we'll just click save. And you can see there's a progress bar here and it's saving. Now this may take a little while. And once it saves, it's gonna save it to that folder. And like I, I mentioned, Lightroom monitors that folder and Lightroom in the background will automatically import it. And once I do all three, I'll show you that folder and you'll see they're there. Okay, so we're done. We're going to close this window. As a matter of fact, we'll close this whole thing down. Now we'll go to the next image. The next image is of the baby gorilla. And we'll take that and I'll open that up into Photo AI. And again, we're letting Autopilot do its thing because one of their claims is that with this latest version of Photo AI, Autopilot has been improved. Well, let's just see how well it's been improved. And it's removing noise and it's done. Now, again, on this one, it doesn't think it needs to be sharp. I'm going to roll open this raw remove noise. And you can see, again, it used normal automatically. That's what Autopilot used. Well, I'm going to switch it to strong and just use the default settings that it comes up with. Again, it has to re-render. Let it do its that. All right, now we're done. All right, so I'm going to save this now, same way. And we'll save it to the same folder. And then we'll do that last one. And then finally, we'll just compare them and see what they look like. Now, that last one of the Ocelot, um, Autopilot determined that that one needed to be sharpened in version 1.0.7. So I'm expecting that this version 1.1.0 is going to expect it to, be, um, to need sharpening as well. So we'll see. That's this one right here. So we'll drag that into... There, we'll let autopilot do its thing. And we'll see. And you can see again that lower left hand corner is the progress bar. Uh, the speed may vary on your computer, it really depends on your uh, computer powers and most specifically your graphics processor, how good of a graphics processor, how fast of a graphics processor you have that really affects the speed. Okay, you can see then this one did sharpen it. Now, with the previous one, I didn't do anything here. I just let it do its default sharpening. I didn't touch that. But what I did do is I went up to the here. Again, it picked normal. So I'm going to go to strong. Again, we have to wait for it to re-render. And then we're going to save it. And then we're going to look at everything, finally, and see whether or not it actually is better or not. And I didn't really try this out ahead of time. I just set things up to do it but I didn't try it ahead of time, so I really don't know if it's better. So we're gonna save the image, same way. Let it save it. Da da da. This one's taking a little longer. I think all three images were shot with an icon uh, D500, so they're all the same resolution. This one's taking a bit longer, maybe because of the sharpening was added to it. Um, really don't know. Okay, it's done. Close this window. We'll get rid of this. I could even get rid of this. <clears throat> now we'll go back to Lightroom. 
Now, I mentioned I have that folder that mo is monitored. It's up here. It's called Auto Imported Photos, and you can see that they're all right here. So I have the other photos in a targeted collection, so I can put these images in easily in that targeted collection by hitting the B key, and you can see Added to Target Collection. Hit the B key, Added to Target Collection. Hit the B key, Added to Target Collection. Now I could go down here to my targeted collection, and they're all here. So now let me drag them around and reorder them so that we could look at them. All right, this is the first one. And let me get to the file name. This is the Nikon RAW file. No editing done at all. Lots and lots of noise. This is the image that was processed before I started the video in version 1.0.7 of Photo AI. This is the image that was shot in 1.1.0 of Photo AI. There's the previous version. There's the new version. Previous version, new version. It's better. It's definitely better. Previous version, can you see the noise in here? New version. Let's just zoom out so we could get see the whole thing. There's the original RAW file. There's the previous version of Photo AI. You can see it darkened it a little bit, but it gets rid of a lot of the luminance noise. And when you get rid of the luminance noise, they're little white, white speckles. When you get rid of that, it tends to make it look a little darker. And there is the newest version. So you really can't tell much there. I'll zoom in on the eye. There's the raw version, version 1.0.7, version 1.1. So it definitely is better on that image. Let's try this image. Sometimes noise in really dark areas is very difficult to remove. That's why I specifically chose this image because, of course, the baby gorilla has very, very dark fur. So we'll zoom in, get part of the gorilla's face and part of the background. This, of course, is the raw file. A lot and a lot of noise. Here's version 1.0.7 of um, Photo AI. And here is version 1.1. 1.0.7, 1.1. Look at the gorilla's face. Look at the gorilla's face, if you can. Here, let's go right on his face. This is the previous version, 1.0.7. You can see I have it right up here. And let's go down here and click. It looks better. It definitely is an improvement. All right. Now let's zoom out. Let's go to our ocelot, which was blurry as well. All right. We'll zoom in. This is the raw file. I don't know where should I zoom. Great in here, I guess. Okay, so this is the ocelot. Lots of noise in the raw file. Here's the previous version, 1.0.7. Here is the latest version, 1.1. Wow. 1.0.7, 1 1.1. It's almost over sharpened though. 1.0.7, 1.1. There's a dramatic difference. That sharpening had to do with probably the new um, autopilot because autopilot looks and sees how blurry the image is and whether or not it needs sharpening done to it then applies the right sharpening ai model and then adjusts the sliders accordingly so it does look better i mean really there's the previous version and here it is in the new version here's the raw file again unedited raw previous version new version. That's pretty dramatic, I think. Um, to tell you the truth, I wasn't really expecting this to be um, all they said it was. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, it definitely is better than version 1.0.7. Um, that's my opinion. I, your opinion may vary, but I think it is definitely better. So that's it for this video. It's the latest version of Photo AI, version 1.1. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.